the sky's the limit with NetSupport's award-winning software solutions. Good to have your company with us this afternoon, folks. It's 19 minutes past three. We are live. It's a lovely seven degree, 17 degrees Celsius outside at 64 Fahrenheit. It says on my screen here, here in London, delightful venue and some lovely clear skies and clear evenings. It's been absolutely magical weather. We've been inside. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. And it's quite different because it's shifted to March, the show, having normally been annually in January. And it's terrible cold in January it's often wet and it's dark although it was terribly dark last night when we finished here at eight o'clock but it's really interesting having the light mornings and light evenings here as well uh, loads more still to come from us this afternoon I love having I'll explain uh, let will explain this I love having these folks on the stand and because of Covid and the vulnerability of the guests they weren't able to join us or come to the show at all this year but I did hook up with their radio station they are Phonic FM they're an Exeter based FM radio station and we've been working with them for many many years they particularly produce programmes for disabled listeners although the programs are of course available for absolutely anyone and lots of the presenters are also disabled themselves absolutely brilliant community project there as well i caught up with will pollard earlier today uh, every bet listeners always managed to catch up with a very interesting group of people from phonic fm it's a brilliant community station down in exeter now they're not journeying here on this bet but i do have will pollard one of the main show anchors here with me on the line will uh, welcome and thanks very much for joining us you're not here what's gone well, we we looked at this a, a few weeks, months ago, and we we thought there was still too much risk, really, uh, in in travelling about. Um, so we were a bit timid, maybe is the thing. Uh, and slightly vulnerable, I'd say as well. So you kind of got to look after yourselves, particularly those of us in the uh, the radio biz that relied so terribly on our voices. We, you know, the, getting poorly takes us off air and takes us out of our um, our, our job opportunities. So th these are, these are trying difficult times, really. Yes, but I, I admire the people who are doing it. I think I think it's really good that we're we're having live events back. But it is, I'm, it I'm, is good. I'm it's just quite looking at it yeah. from. I'm just looking at it from a di from a distance. And, and that's um, this, time, this time around. Probably was. Anyway, I am so pleased because we have a long established history of having you on our show. What's been going on with the uh, uh, with the station um, and what have you been up to in the last two years since we last spoke? Well, obviously during the, during the lockdown we, we, we tried to work out ways of keeping the station going and at the same time working at home. So various, various presenters have have explored ways of, of creating stuff on uh, computers at home, just doing editing. So, um, well, obviously Audacity is well, well known as a free option, but there's lots of other techniques as well. And people have just gradually uh, got into that. Um, we, we can submit um, files direct to the system, but mostly it's just sent as an email attachment and somebody in the technical bit of, of Phonic puts it all together. Wow, that's amazing. I suppose not as well funded as the BBC, who just simply sent their radio <laughs> presenters' homes with a couple of hundred grand's worth of radio kit, I suspect. <laughs> well, yeah, I think, I think there's, there's lots of different things that have happened, isn't there? Um, well, yeah, I, mean, I, well, I was broadcasting, as you well know, we, you know, I, I'm lucky. I've got a full radio studio uh, at home, and so we just kind of started. But uh, I lost, you know, so much business in a very short space of time. It, it all hit uh, on the 12th. Well, the anniversary was at the beginning of uh, this week. Uh, on Wednesday, yeah. that was the second anniversary of the first lockdown. And three months' work just got cancelled overnight. And so we thought, what are we going to do? And so radio was a perfect opportunity because it was quick, easy. This is before Zoom kind of took hold, really, and Jackie Weaver got her stage uh, and cha changed the <laughs> landscape of Zooming. Uh, bless her, bless her, bless her. We love her to bits. But really interesting. Yeah. So, so very lucky we were able to do that. But it was a way of communicating, wasn't it? Russell, would you, would you say a little bit more about the sort of equipment? Because we're, we're sort of betwixt and between. We've either got improvised stuff at home that we've done or we've got a sort of classic FM studio, which I would say has, has not... It's got some social media inputs into it, but it's, it was never really set up with that in mind. 
Well, you're a good I, man. I wonder, yeah, sure. I'm just very thankful for the question. Don't mind. Don't mind at all. Well, the, 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 the main preset is that if you've got studio audio monitors, if you're, you know, don't want to wear headphones all the time and you do want some speakers in there, when you turn the mic on, the speakers have to mute. And, and that's a kind of, you've got to have that. Without that, there are too many knobs to twiddle before you can raise the mic. So you've got to have right. automatic studio muting. So that now takes you down a path, and then you can look at the kind of desks there. Uh, the Rodecaster from Rode was a big innovation. In at around six to 800 quid, depending on where you buy it. Um, I buy mine from a company in Germany. Uh, because they have a UK trading arm. So Toman, I go uh, for mine, and it's a good price from there. And if you spend so much, you don't pay delivery. And it's about three to five days delivery. That's only the, the, the little sticking point sometimes. But that's a nice desk. It's got some microphones and it's got some other sources, but it will mute the speakers. What it doesn't have is an on-air mic live sign, which will come on when you push the mics up. And in an education right. settings, I, I mean, that's nice trimming for the studio, but it, it will stop you your partner or someone coming into the room with a mug of tea whilst you're in the middle of something <laughs> in the studio. And in a school environment, it raises excitement uh, and, and generates, obviously, a quiet room, which is what you want, because the kids will respect a light coming on that says Mike Live on it. There's one right in front of my face, and there's one, as you well know, uh, in, in the history of your visits here, there's one on a pole uh, up in the air. Right. So, uh, so, there are some right. so that's probably the cheapest option, but that... That's still prohibitively expensive for your, uh, your, your layperson stroke amateur that wants to get into it. It's a good podcasting tool as well, so it will record uh, onto a memory card, and it's got, uh, it will take power from USB from a computer, so you don't actually need mains power for it if you want to take it out and about. I like it. I've got, I've got one as well. Uh, for me when I go out and about and I sell that one as part of a solution for schools so uh, that's a really good solution the, the mixing desk I'm using at the moment is a Sonifex uh, but it needs to be um, it's an SO desk I mean, it's a few thousand quid for that it needs to be dropped through a desk it's, it doesn't, it's not going to sit well on, on a table surface it's a, it's a surface mount flush mounted so you're going to be cutting, hole, <laughs> cutting holes in your, your dining room table if that's at all possible, oh, which is strangely enough, what I did when I needed to build, I didn't have a permanent <laughs> studio. I didn't have a permanent studio. Well, at home, this is right, me doing all right. the talking. You should be doing all the talking. I didn't have a permanent one. Well, no, no, this is this is great, R Russell. Look, if people think this is all product place, but it's a genuine question, and, and which you're answering. I, you like, have a, so you have. I know it's the other way around. I'm supposed to phone you. <laughs> <laughs> you, I love you to bits. I love you. Uh, so, and I just, I just got a table from, from home. I didn't have a proper studio. I had a, a portable thing, and I wanted a proper pucker studio so I could sit comfortably and not stand because there was a lot of work to be done. And I also right. wanted to video me so that we could do some video content as well for schools and produce that. And we did really successfully, as you well know. So I just cut a hole in my table, dropped the uh, the desk down, and that's fine. Now there's some other new desks that have come from D and R. Now they're a, a Dutch company, D and R. You can search for them, and they do some nice stuff. They've got a new product called a web station. Now, this is just just a few hundred pounds, and it's got some nice technology on board. It's got sound cards built into it. I like that, so you don't need extra sound cards, all USB. Right. Just plugs into your computer, and it's got like got four sound cards in it, and you can map them to the faders. That's nice. I like that. Only got two mics, though, but for home use, that's probably enough. You and the dog. That's enough to interview, <laughs> exactly, yeah. really. <laughs> it's got a VoIP yeah. channel. I think the, the most important thing for us during lockdown has been VoIP. You know, we're doing this across our, our Skype connection with a telephone, and I've phoned your mobile number. I won't give the number out, don't worry. Uh, I've phoned your mobile number, and I subscribe to a, a, a mobile number service from Skype so I can have a real public service telephone network. I've, I've got an 0845 number as well that folks can dial in on. So that's quite right. good. But, you, you know, once you've got VoIP, you can use Zoom. It, you don't need to carry the, the video onto your show, just the audio. Use Google Meet or Teams or anything that's going uh, with that. So that's, well, I think, the right. most important thing. We have to stitch a show together with people who aren't in your studio. So that was a, a really good one. Well, I mean, t tell me some more about your, your Phonic FM studio and some of your, you know, because you've got some great presenters there. Well, yes. Um, it, it, well, there's, there's about there's somewhere between 50 and 70, I think, at the moment. Wow, that's amazing. And and um, some people have, have j just have a monthly show, or some, some people are weekly or, or twi every other, you know, fortnightly. Um, it's quite, it's quite, it started with a, 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 a jazz festival, a blues-based festival, that had a temporary license just, just for the fortnight. 
and uh, g gradually built up to um, a point where now they've, they've applied for a DAB licence. Oh, wow, so that's, congratulations. That's, that's really exciting. Um, and I think that will start later this year. Oh, uh, you're going to have uh, to oil your chairs for that. DAB is, is lovely for the listeners. They love it because they're all getting cars with DAB in now because everyone's got it. But that, it's so sensitive. You can hit, you, you shuffle around on your chair in the studio and they can hear that. Oh, <laughs> well, this is, this is what we're, we're slightly <laughs> <laughs> thinking about. That uh, It's all very well uh, upgrading the strength of signal, but maybe the studio is going to have Click well, of carpet or something. Well, yeah, gonna, yeah, every little, every click of the pen, you're flicking the pen here just for a little uh, distraction. Every little sound because it's so crystal clear. Um, you know, it's faultless audio, uh, and that means the you you've got to put it in faultlessly uh, at your end as well. So it does mean a bit of studio upgrade there. But I think a lot of people are taking to podcasting. They just chug, you know, they bought a podcast mic. If you're looking for a really, really good USB mic, the AKG podcast mic that looks like an old BBC microphone. So it's got a lovely oh, desk right. stand. Love it. It's yeah. got headphones uh, output on it, so you can plug your headphones in. It's good to hear yourself back in your cans so you know what you sound like and um, whether you're slopping your chops or something like that. So people have a... <laughs> right, uh, that right. kind of thing. So you can hear all of those sounds on there. So having... You know, having uh, headphones on really important in the studio. So it's a lovely yeah, microphone. I think, yeah, I think I think the mi the microphones are okay. What what do you what do you think about the the, the quality of files? Because it it, it well, the, if, the, if you're going sound, dab, you're going to have to work in lossless WAV. You've got no choice, really. And and those are big. So uh, MP3, MP3s just won't be good enough. Well, they might be, but not. I wouldn't. I'd say no. If you're working in if you're, you're working in crystal clear audio on a dab channel. On the very highest quality level, you've got to yeah. be—you've got to be working in lossless WAV. You absolutely have to be. That's going to mean a lot of extra hard disk space. These files are enormous. I mean, try it. You could try it and see and see how you get on, really. But right, I, I only okay. work in because my, my listeners are only listening to me in one to, at one ninety-two K. I don't work any higher than that on file type. So um, I work at, uh, at that kind of rate as well. Right. Um, okay. Um, right. Yeah, Russell, yeah, I think there's a few things we've got to look at. <laughs> well, there was, so, it's lovely to chat with you. I love having our conversations. Uh, and so, are you all keeping well there? Yeah, yes, every, every, everybody's fine, thank you. Yeah, Chris as well, Chad D as well, and John as well. Good. Well, and, um, give and them my love the station, and say hello to them, please. It's fine. Good. Yeah, and, and Russell, look, thank, thank, thanks for all the information, and thanks for, I think you're doing a brilliant job on, on the... Radio. Although I'm not there, I'm, I'm through listening to you. I'm getting a, r a rough idea of what's going on, and uh, I, I, I think it's all get gain, gaining strength. Which I knew I had a listener down in Exeter. I can see you pop up on the demographic board here because uh, we, we look <laughs> oh, at real right. listeners, and, uh, and, I, and I love it. Thank you so much indeed for for taking some time on the phone today. Really appreciate that. And I've done most of the talking, matey, but uh, it's well, nice yeah, that but, we connect. But you've, you've answered my questions. It's what I, what I needed to know. Yeah, that's right. But 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 but, but will it supposed to work the other way round? I just thought I'd mention that you're supposed <laughs> to answer my questions. But right, okay. So I'm asking everyone today: your favourite school pudding? What's it going to be? Uh, jam Riley powder pudding with custard. Okay, custard. Excellent. I'm marking that up. We're doing a tally chart. Everyone gets to answer that question, and we'll be talking about that at the end of the show. Uh, will Pollard from Phonic FM down in Exeter. Thanks so much for joining us here on our Bet Radio Show. Thank you, Russ. Bye. Oh, absolutely amazing. Loved him. Now, I recorded that earlier this morning because it's only available at 10 o'clock. And thank you. I just had uh, a bit of a coughing fit there as well, which is not good, I have to say, at the moment. Uh, and that's why you can hear one of those anaesthetic lozenges uh, slopping around in there. So sorry if that's sport. a little bit of enjoyment there. But you can certainly <clears throat> hear me in those are. But I'd rather uh, you heard that than uh, me coughing and uh, on the... Because I could only have him on that one time. I couldn't, couldn't push him away and do him some uh, other time. So I love that, really love that and he asked a really interesting question listeners and i hope that was useful uh, to some of our listeners today uh, you're listening to net support radio here live from stand sk 51 it is exactly 27 minutes to four we are live across the planet it is great to have your company thank you so much indeed for joining us